Welcome to another episode of Animal Profiles. In this video, I will be talking about the oldest known Jurassic theropod dinosaur, Dracoraptor. Dracoraptor was a basal member of Neotheropoda, a large group including other more well-known dinosaurs such as T-Rex and Spinosaurus. However, it was only very distantly related to those animals, but being a basal member means that it is important in studying the Neotheropoda group as a whole. Dracoraptor was a fairly small dinosaur, standing at a height of around 70 centimeters at the hip. The animal could have grown up to approximately 3 meters in length, however the fossil of the animal that was discovered was of a juvenile individual, and was 2.1 meters long. This animal was a carnivore, like the majority of theropod dinosaurs, and possessed serrated dagger-shaped teeth, a typical indication of a carnivorous diet. However, these teeth were very small, suggesting that the animal likely fed on small vertebrates, either by hunting them or through scavenging. Dracoraptor was discovered at Lavernock Point in South Wales which at the time of the early Jurassic when the dinosaur was alive, would have been an island. Dracoraptor therefore probably lived on the shoreline, and could have hunted or scavenged for food near the sea. The individual of Dracoraptor that was found had most likely been swept away into the sea, and deposited somewhere nearby. Dracoraptor displays some traits that allowed scientists to work out its place in the dinosaur evolutionary tree including having three teeth in the pre-maxilla, the part at the very end of the snout. This characteristic is in accordance with basal members of the theropod group of dinosaurs, and so helped to put the animal in the correct evolutionary location. The dinosaur also had elongated vertebrae in the neck, and other traits that it was found to possess helped to determine Dracoraptor's relation to other species. Thank you for watching this episode of Animal Profiles, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please leave suggestions for which animal you'd like me to cover next, and remember to follow me on social media and subscribe for more videos like this one.